All righty, there we go, there we go. We in right, guys. We're in right. I know it's been a minute since I put a video out, but here we are. We're back, back at it. I'm feeling a lot better than what I did. Uh, I done a home test kit. I had a little home test kit for COVID, and I tested positive for that about a week or two ago, and, and now I'm over it. I'm over my cold. Drunk me some alcohol. Uh, moonshine, whatever, got over it, clear in the good, back in the games, getting it done, you know, and having fun in, in the meantime. Now, I've had two really close games back to back, uh, 100,000 uh, damage games output. Uh, in this match, in the last match, I've only had two games so far in rank. Um, so, but, I'm pretty sure I get 100k. It, it, it don't matter about the damage output, it matters, it matters about, you know, the win, team play. I'm going to rock B right here. And uh, go towards the island, see what we can do here. See if we can do a little work. Prince Oigan. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing the name right. If you didn't get a look at the team lineup, here we go. They got a San Diego, uh, which is set base, uh, a shield, the new German cruiser that has really good armor piercing and a reload booster, which is pretty, pretty, I don't know. I've, I've not got it. And I'm not going to pay uh, $100 for a tier 8. Uh, hundred dollars plus, almost a hundred dollars. No, I'm not gonna pay. It. And a Kansas, North Carolina, and a Key, uh, which I'm pretty sure, you know, yeah, it's Japanese. So Agazuki is a gunboat DD, and we got Sat, Vivi, Veneto, Laddie, uh, and NC, Oiland, Uland, or however you want to pronounce it, Rochester, and me. At the I took the Prince Morgan out. I, I mean, it's basically a hipper. 203s, which we all know, like like when you watch the YouTube videos, I don't know, you can leave a, uh, you know, a mention in the comments, like, if you're new to the channel, you know, you probably don't know the specs and stuff of the ships, and I don't know if I should like keep telling you about the specs and what's good and what's the weaknesses, what's the pluses, or just going about matches and like positioning. You know what I mean? Because like, if you've noticed every video that you watch on YouTube, always tells you about, you know, uh, is the armor piercing good? Is the high explosive better than you, uh, the armor piercing? You know, should you do this, should you do that? Tell me what you want in the comments below and I'll start putting, you know, integrating the videos more and more to the channel and the community is liking. Uh, right now, I'm not gonna push out because I knew they had to be this good right here. We're trying to get a, a feel of what they're going to do, what the team's going to do. The Vladdy better uh, bounce. Okay, the whole fucking team's over here. We got the Shield, Kansas, the Key, and the NC, and the Akazuki's in the smoke. So we're going to fucking, we're going to bounce. We're going to bounce. Ah, uh, yeah. We're getting the fuck out of here. Peace. Glad he went, you know, goes, that's it. I'm letting him know, run, cut. It's best when you get in situations like this where you're overwhelmed. You know, a lot of people, I've noticed this. It's not that a lot of people go in the matches and YOLO. No, it seems like they just go in, YOLO, and they die in the first three minutes of the match, right? I mean, that's the way it looks because you're looking... You know, if you're in a ship and you start your match and you go in and like the first three minutes, like four people's dead. It's because they get overwhelmed and they don't have that. Torpedoes are back So you like, like this right here. When I went in, I backed up and I made sure that I had an angle to escape from this gate, this gate from the battle. And then re-engage, feel comfortable. 
Now I'm going to stay well angled, but I'm going to drop fire in on these ships. I'm going to alternate fire between all of them. We want to get, we, if they're showing broadsides, I'm going to use that good German AP because I can get like 4K, 5K salvos each, uh, what is it, 12 seconds. Yeah, me and Vladdy keep running back and forth. We weave out from each, in each other the whole match. Like, see, watch over up forward and turn right, and then I'll turn left and get right behind you. We run into each other a few times. Like, right now, I'm using the armor piercing because it's showing me good broadsides. Come on, Vladdy, you gotta go. We're also getting the Phoenix Rivers. Akazuki's running up there. I mean, it, we got overwhelmed. Norland, Rochester, Neto. If you look on the mini map down here on the right, they're going up towards A. And more than likely, the wave that they got right now and the momentum is going to push towards B. Because you got to look, if you ever rode jet ski, now I'm going to drop AT fire after it's AT salvo on shield and try to burn him down. I'm not going to let him sit there and do what he's doing. But if you've ever been on a lake, and if you haven't been on a lake, this is how it works. This is how I learned how to drive on water. Okay? This is good advice for new players. If you're on a jet ski, okay, and I was on a jet ski, if you're going, you're given throttle. Okay, it's the same mechanics as in the game. In order for your ship to turn, you have to be giving it throttle. Okay, say like you could be going 80 mile an hour, or let's say 20 knots. Okay, if you turn the throttle off, yes, you will be able to turn, but you will be able to turn only with the momentum that you've got. So if you want to make sharper turns to weave in and out, have to keep throttle up, turn, throttle down, and the unusual momentum you got, throttle back up, turn the other way. So you have to have throttle to turn. If you don't throttle while you're turning to dodge stuff, like I'm weaving in and out, I'm just, you know, I'm not doing a direct straight line for them to make you, I'm not making it easy for them to shoot me. See what I'm saying? I miss the salvos and I connect them with mine. That's the difference and that's what wins a lot of games. Is is duck diving dodge, see? They're hitting water right now. And I am connecting every time. If you connect them shells while they're missing them shots, I'm gonna weave right back in. But you can also use that to your advantage if you're shooting at someone you know they have to be going a certain direction before they can go the other way to dodge. So if you can aim correctly, then you will do well in your match. I'm gonna have to pop this hill and we're gonna keep burning him out. I got a good fire on him right now. He's burning down. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to see it looks like a perma. So, Still burning. Still burning. Me and Vladdy's gonna burn it right here. Okay, we got a shield. We got a shield. Let me back up from Vladdy right here. Get out of this way. Here I make this video for you guys right after I got done with it, so that I can uh, do the video and then get back in the ring. Go on, buddy. We we'll get a good two, four, and two, yada yada. I figured they'd have a cap by now, but apparently not. It's pretty even right now. Look at the score. Akazuki's got one kill. Kansas got a kill. Bonetto's got a kill, and I got a kill. Uh -oh. 
Oh. Okay, let's see what key he's doing. A collar key, whatever. He's not really looking our way. Let's see if we get a power iron on him. We're gonna go ahead and put some output damage output on him and cap right around this island to get an angle to where we're gonna make it hard for him. We got a fire. I don't think he'll DCP it. Let's see if we can get some good AP salvos in on him. 2K. Could be better. Could be better. He's not interested in us apparently. Oh now he is. 3K, 600. Four old pins and yeah. So like I mean Ooh, San Diego got smacked. As long as he's showing broadside, I'm just gonna keep peppering his ass with AP. See what no. Chicken Hill, San Diego, see if I can get any good shots in on him, but apparently not. Oh, he got smacked again. Sucks to be him. Okay, now we got the lead. Keep doing work, baby. Keep doing work. Four K. I'll take it all day. Cause by the time you add up the salvos that I get to compare to the reload that he gets, I'll have the same amount if he would have had the Citadel. That's what I love about cruisers. I love cruiser gameplay. Love it. It's so rewarding when you can get it right. But at the same time, if you fuck up and get too confident and show a little bit more than what you're used to, you'll get dealt with. You get death struck. God, come on. I gotta get a fire. I figured AP would do it right there, but like, bro, bro, he's healing. Kill him and flip. But, bro, that's what we're gonna try to do. Okay, now it's even. Except, I'm well better off than a destroyer. I don't remember exactly what, how much HP he has, but I'm, he's, he's on my ass. See, I'm detected right now. And they're in the lead, so like, uh, it's very, very frustrating. I guess I'm gonna leave AP in the tubes. Shoot at aim target and see if I can't get something on his uh, super trigger. Now I switch to AT. Now, now. Boom. I killed the key. God bless German armor piercing. You know what I mean? 98,000 damage. 123 shell hits. Okay, we're still detected. We're no, automatically. We're going to change our course for that reason right there. Because if we sail in a straight line, and you would not believe, oh my God, you would not believe the amount of people that sail in a straight line and eat all the torts. You wouldn't believe it. You would not believe it. And, and, and look, it, please do this for me. I don't, I don't care what server you're on. You know, if you've got a good win rate, 70, 80 percent win rate, and you've got like 10,000 bad wins, please don't stash shame because it, it solves nothing. It really does. Like, look, 
you see how well that I've put out and how hard that I've worked on all my games on this channel. None of this was handed to me and it was not easy to obtain. And right now, I'm at only a 48, 49% ended in minutes. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you cannot help. Which this is solo. I don't play in divisions. If I played in the division, I'd probably have like an 80%, 90% win rate. You know what I mean? Like, if I had team, this is why I stay in ranked most of the time. Because you got people that want to play right. Other than that, Akazuki fucks up. He shows where he's at. If he would have stayed dark, if that was me, I would have stayed dark. And I would have fucking never opened up. But he's wanting to reset the cap to try to keep the points going. You see what I'm saying? It's 982, he's trying to reset him. But what I don't understand, as long as he stays in there, he's not going to be able to gun him, gun him down. Thousand HP, boom, there you go. Never should have happened. I would have stayed dark, lost some torches, or tor you know what I mean? Hell, he could have run around in a amount of time and probably got a cap and been done with it. Uh, we got a million and two on our credits, 98,000 damage, almost 100k, almost. Uh, top of the leaderboard again, same as last time. Uh, you know, he done good. Detailed report. 55k on the key, 33k on the she, shield, uh, 9k on the NC, 0 on Kansas. I don't even know why it's fucking showing it. 30k on spotting, credit 6 p There you go, there you go. Uh, please hit that like, subscribe button, I'll get more out to you. Thank you.